Hey guys, this video is dedicated to my friends and family in Ukraine. In this video, I will make the Ukrainian coat of arms. So let's uh, get started. The next thing I'm gonna do is just gonna outline all of the details using hers. In this case, I'm using the EP curve tool. So now that all curves are made, I can start cutting. And one way to do this is to click on curve point, shift right click and click detach curve. Then go to the next one, curve point, and just press G to redo that cut. Okay, now that I have these curves made, I can then select them, I'm going to group them, duplicate them, and then flip them to negative one in X like this. So the next step is to start figuring out how I'm going to uh, loft these together because I want to loft these, but you can't just loft uh, these curves. We need to plan this out a little bit. So like these two, I can loft so we can uh, do that. Double click on the loft tool. And I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna reset and show you uh, my settings. So we want to have uh, NURBS, uh, not NURBS, sorry, polygons. And then we want to set this to quads and general fit. And then for the numbers here, I'm gonna set this to uh, 3D, 3D, and then we'll try. I, I almost never remember like which direction it's supposed to go in, but if you leave it at three and three. Uh, you should be able to figure that out after. So like once you create this loft, uh, you can close the tool because it'll remember when you click the button. But you can see here, we can go to NURBS Tessellate. And then we have this number here. We can drag out and this one reduce like this. And then we need to do the same here. Now here's the problem. If we do that over there, uh, we can't loft because we have uh, two curves here. So we need to break this into uh, parts. So I'm going to uh, click on curve point and try and just match a curve point here and then detach and then one here, detach. And if I select all of these, I can select these vertices here, click this arrow, hold C, middle drag, and then the same here. Now it's uh, matched and now we can do the same here at loft, but we don't need any divisions here. So I just drag these to nothing. Then this one. Uh, now we can start combining and uh, finalizing this uh, the details here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select. I want to select all the curves and hide them. So I'm going to turn off polygon selection up here. Select all of the curves. I'm going to just press up to select all the groups, combine the curves and just hide them. So all I have is the geometry left. Now I can select all the geometry and combine it and clear history. Now the curves here, I'm going to unhide. I'm going to make a layer with the curves, call them curves layer, make it a different color like that so I can see it easier. And if I press five, uh, what you'll see is that some of the geometry is flipped because uh, when you're creating lofts, they can go in different directions. So I'm going to select the ones that are black like this and reverse the normals on them. And then, so to do to fix something like this, it's actually really easy. You select a bunch of vertices, add a lattice, select lattice points here, and then drag them out. And you get this. Clear history, and that's gone. You can manually adjust this guy if you want. So 
going to extrude this. I want to select all the edge loops this, uh, that we're going to bevel. So, uh, easiest way to do this is to select all the corners like this first. If we missed anything, we can fix it later. Now that all the corners are selected, I can hold Control, right click, edge loops to edge loops. That's going to select all the loops this way. Okay, once all the edges are selected, we're going to add a bevel. Now let's see what that does. You want to make sure you do a chamfer bevel off. Then we can increase it. This right here is unnecessary, so we can clean this up and I'll show you how to do that. So let's do that. But first I want to delete uh, like a big portion of this because we don't need to work on both sides. Now we can clean it up. So use the multi-cut tool and just do this. Just make this these 45 degree cuts. Now we can double click this edge, this one, this one, and this one, and then this one, and this one. Control delete. Now we have a much cleaner edge loop here. And we can do the same here. We don't need uh, the thickness. I can delete these faces here and then extrude down. Up. I add two divisions this way. Then add them on the inside as well. Then from the side view, select the inside vertices and then scale them up to the thickness of the bevel. So if you want to make the bevel a little sharper, uh, we can add extra loops. So one way to do it is just to uh, use the cut tool. You can add them this way. And then in here, I'm going to use the insert edge loop tool, set it to 1, and add loops like this. So once you're done, we can center the pivot and then snap it to the bottom and then snap it to the grid rotate it like this I'm gonna unlock normals then soften edge and freeze reset transformations and then it's done if we select it press 3 we can see what it would look like smooth and that's it if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button leave a comment and uh, I'll see you guys next time